Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here from Wander to Get Lost and in today's episode we are going to be installing these beefy sumo springs in the rear end of our RV. So stick around and let's tackle this project together. It could be this simple forever everybody so if you've seen some of our other videos uh, specifically the one where we were at the uh, safety plus factory we saw that we got a whole bunch of stuff done for our steering and control of the RV we've also decided to add sumo springs to the RV the front and the rear I don't know if anybody's looked into sumo springs but the biggest thing that you're gonna have to do is drill into the frame of your RV uh, to mount the mounting bracket for the sumo spring let me show you. So this is the top bracket. It's got uh, three holes here, three holes here, and you're going to be drilling two holes to bolt this to your frame. Your sumo spring will be mounted underneath, and then you're going to put the rest on top of your leaf spring. Um, so this is what the fully assembled one looks like. This is for the passenger side, so it basically mounts right against the frame like this. This sits on the leaf spring, clamps down right here. Uh, so what you're going to do is, before you mount it, you're going to put it all together. And one thing that I learned from the front sumo springs is that uh, leave this one, the bottom bolt, loose. That way you have a little bit of play with getting it into position and you have enough space to get your wrench into here to tighten it down. The top two bolts, just lock those in, those will be nice and tight and then um, you can position this. Now per our directions, this bottom hole is to be four and a half inches, which is dead center of our frame. So four and a half inches from the bottom, four and a half inches from the top. So it's gonna be the middle of our frame, which measures nine inches. So that's for our RV. We have a 2008 Winnebago Sightseer. All right, so the one thing that I have to do before uh, I can complete the install of the sumo springs is I have to take out our airbags. Uh, the airbags came with the RV from I think either the first owner or the second owner and they've been nothing but problem every time you fill them they just leak so I don't know if we have little micro holes I'm not sure how old they were so the rubber could be uh, breaking down. The good thing about the sumo springs no maintenance you don't have to fill them they're there. So this is the airbag that we had on our passenger side. I've already pulled it out and then we're gonna take out the driver's side. It's really not that hard. The awesome thing that I have in store for me is that this mounting bracket from the airbags matches exactly to the mounting bracket for the sumo springs. And I've been trying to see if these are sumo spring airbags, but I can't see any manufacturer markings. So it's possible because uh, I matched up the the mounting bracket and it's exactly the same just the bottom bracket is different so 90% we are probably for an easy install because the holes should match it's just whether or not the position is going to be correct but I think it will be alright so that's it first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the other uh, airbag. Once that's out, we're going to raise the back of the RV uh, just to allow enough clearance to get the sumo spring mounted between the leaf spring and the frame. And then we'll bolt everything down and then we'll drop the RV. I've seen um, some places say, and especially if you're going to have to drill through the frame, you're going to have to remove your rear tires. Uh, so you would have to prepare for that. Um, I don't think we're going to have to remove our tires just because our um, frame is already drilled so it's probably going to be easy for us. Alright, let's take out that airbag. 
Alright, so this is the driver's side. You can see the airbag. You can see there's the bracket. You can see how it's got two bolts, top and bottom. So that bottom bolt, the center of that is four and a half inches, dead center of our frame. Airbag, and then you can see how it just rests on top of the leaf spring. And then we have two clamp bolts down there. So I'm going to release those first. Then we'll come back up and uh, take this out. So it should go rather quickly. Just have some uh, clearance issues with our uh, tailpipe and the brake lines being right there. So hopefully we don't have any issues. That's what happened to the last one. I did not hurt the brake line. So that makes it easy. Just snap the bolt right, right in half. All right, and we're gonna, no one issues. We have brake lines up here. So we have two bolts that we have to try and get out gingerly. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, this is the old one. This one, it's had to have been in there for a while because obviously I snapped the bolt and this is uh, destroyed by rust. So it looks horrible. But all right, everything's out. Uh, one thing I'm going to do before uh, we get to mounting the new stuff is uh, if you've seen our RV, it's uh, I guess, 14 years old, almost 15 years old at this point. We have a lot of rust underneath, and I'm gonna mediate um, the rust where the bracket is gonna mount. So I'm gonna do some uh, uh, wire brushing on that area, and then I'm gonna use my the Rust-Oleum paint that we have, just so that way when I mount this there, that section is done uh, probably all winter when we're down south. I'm gonna probably be spending uh, a few hours a day doing the whole under, under carriage of the RV and remediating all the rust that's that and that's a huge project coming up all right so i'm going to do that you don't need to worry about that i'll show it to you when we're done and then uh, uh we'll get to putting in a uh, sumo spring all right we're almost there all right what's up everybody uh we are back working on the rear sumo spring so it's been a while because um i think i've said this in a couple of other videos a long time ago we have issues with our jacks, and it's pretty much, I think, the solenoid valves in the main assembly. I'm, I'm going to deal with that after this project, but um, when I tried to lift the rear of the RV, uh, the jacks aren't lifting it. So what I had to do, well, so basically what happened was we were leaving for a camping trip for eight days. I didn't have time to do everything. So we just put it off. Um, I did do the spray treatment. And as you can see here, this is how I'm jacking it up. I got a 12 ton hydraulic jack, air jack. Uh, it's all blocked right there. Uh, so now I have the proper space here for the sumo spring. Uh, the holes do line up. The one issue is I have this little hanger bolt here. I'm gonna have to grind that off. So I just test fit everything, make sure everything's gonna fit in place. Uh, it fits down there on the spring. Everything is good. This is the passenger side. So I'm going to grind this off and then we're going to bolt this one on and we'll be good to go on this side. All right, so let me uh, grind that off and then uh, we'll put all the bolt and then I'll show you putting the bolts in and then uh, tighten it down. All right, here we go. All right, so I did a little grinding of that. Everything it's good now. I gave it a little touch up paint so we won't have any more rust to worry about. Uh, so, yeah. So, we're just going to test fit the bolts, make sure they're good. They fit. One's 
good. Shit. Alright, that one fit. Yeah, nice fit. Which is always a good thing. Alright, we got the So we got all four bolts in. So now we know we're good. We're also gonna check, make sure it's still hooked up on here. And then our long bolts are gonna go down here. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is on the back of these bolts, um, I still have the old washers from the airbag install. I'm gonna put these on there um, before doing the, the nuts. There, everything's 15 mil, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna go underneath, thread these on, get that all set up, and then we're going to, I'm gonna tighten everything to the frame, and then we'll tighten to the uh, leaf springs, and then this side will be done. All right. Those two, and we gotta go to the other side. And then the other thing, you just gotta just move this up evenly. So that way you don't have it uh, too tight on one side. So I'm trying to keep everything uh, the same equidistant on the, the bolts so the nut is not over pulling on one side. Right. And the other thing is this is not supposed to be super tight. This is just basically holding this on. Here, so. There it is. There's the bottom ones tightened. So we're good there. Looks pretty even. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna go do the other side and then we'll do a recap. Be it. Right. There we go. Sumo springs engaged. Yeah. All right, everybody. So that's the install of the rear sumo springs on our 2008 Winnebago Sightseer. 35J on the F53 chassis. Um, yeah, it was really easy except for one thing, which is our rear jacks aren't working. So they had to use a uh, hydraulic jack that I actually keep on the RV just in case of circumstances where the jacks don't work and they got to change a tire on the side of the road. So that worked out. The other thing that worked out really well for me in this install is that we had airbags, which I showed at the beginning of this video. The mounts were the exact same, and when I pulled those off, the sumo spring mounts lined up perfectly with the holes. So it was a complete godsend that that was there, because then I didn't have to do the part where you drill through the uh, RV frame like other installers do. So if you are doing this for the first time, you will probably have to drill through the frame, which is gonna add some time to your install. All right, so if you have any questions, <laughs> all right, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer as I can. I'll link to the uh, Sumo Springs for our RV in our description. Um, we are now boondocking or mooch docking again at my mom's after camping for eight days, and we're about to go jump in a pool because it's hot today. So, all right, thanks again. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, go ahead, Logan. <laughs> All right, till next video. Stay lost.